This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery. Well, most of us have heard of craft beer, right? Well, in fact, we've done so many segments here on the show, tasting craft beer and learning about the different craft beer companies on Delmarva. But what about craft wine? Yeah, it's a thing. In fact, 1025 WBOC's Corey Phoebus had no problem visiting our friends at Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery in Vienna to learn all about it. The best part about fall on Delmarva has to be the harvest season. And my favorite thing to pick are the grapes because we get to make wine. Now, I don't know a lot about making wine, but I know somebody who does. So I came down to Layton's Chance Vineyard and Winery, and we're talking with Jen Layton. Thank you so much for seeing me. Thanks for coming. So your days must be absolutely jam-packed. It's harvest season, and we're on a vineyard. Absolutely, and it's not just harvest in the vineyard, but it's harvest in the grain fields as well. And we're going through crush for the winery, and there's festival season as well. So we're busy on all fronts. So now that you're not getting any sleep, <laughs> you've also decided to take things to a new level. Now, I want to talk to you about craft wines. I thought that craft beer was the big thing. Well, we like to believe, who, why should breweries have all the fun? Okay. Uh, but we start with our craft wines. We make smaller batches and we can change them out seasonally. We have one flavor that always changes with the seasons, but we also have one called Imposter, which is a wine that tastes like a beer. Fantastic. So they just offer us a little more creati creativity in the winemaking process. Now, speaking of the winemaking process, I know that the, the, there's these huge vats of wine when you make wine. Are, are quiet craft wines the same way? No, we use much, much smaller tanks and we only put them in kegs. They don't go into bottles. So we only serve them in the tasting room. Okay, so you have to come here to try them because it's, it's an opportunity for you guys to experiment with new flavors? Yep. What's the most delicious, craziest flavor you've come up with? Well, our spiced apple was so popular last year, that's actually in a bottle this year. Okay. Um, but we've done, like our cherry we, is very versatile. So we did that last winter and you can have it basically as a regular cherry wine. And then maybe we switched it up and did a keg of a chocolate cherry. Oh, so, that sounds like a dessert wine almost. Yeah, exactly. So it gives us even one flavor. We can make it several different ways keg by keg. And since it's so small, it, it's a lot easier for you guys to do that. Absolutely. Okay, well my mouth is absolutely watering after trying chocolate cherry. I mean, that's just, I can't imagine <laughs> that, but we have to go taste some. What do you guys think? Yeah, sounds good to me. All right, so I'm still kind of uh, baffled by the whole craft wine experimentation phase. Now I know we have a couple of these here. Uh, what, do we, what do we have here exactly? Well, the one we always have on tap is our imposter, which is our wine that tastes like a beer. You okay. can see it's carbonated as well. Yeah, it's got well. some foam. Yep. Um, and then we also have our this season's flavor, which is peach. Okay, so fantastic. Very nice, light peach flavor. All right, so I guess we should just kind of give these a shot then. This is the beer one, right? Yep. Okay. It's a very fruity beer flavor, but it's not super tart which is what you would think coming from like a fruity beer. Right. It's not, this is a very easy to drink wine, but I can't get over it, it looks like a beer. Well, we're hoping it satisfies some beer drinkers. Well, so. satisfy, I like beer <laughs> and I like that. And then this is the peach one. Yep. You can smell it right off the top. Wow. It's not, it's very peachy, but it's not overly sweet either. It's not like, mm -hmm. it's not like a juice box. No, no. You know, and that's like what that's what you run into a lot of times when people try different flavors of stuff. They go overly sweet, but this is still has the wine characteristic and it's got that nice peach beginning and end. Like it's still kind of going right yeah, now. Yeah, it is. It's very flavorful. So what else do you guys have going on here? I notice you have a beautiful event room, right? Yep. And what are you doing there? Um, everything from showers to birthday parties, holiday parties, any type of occasion, graduations, all kinds of different and when we were outside, you mentioned that you guys do uh, some events. I mean, you guys are so busy with, you know, picking and, and making, and you also have <laughs> events and stuff on top of it. We do, we do. And we have our big annual um, Christmas market coming up uh, the Sunday before Thanksgiving. Okay. And the good thing about that whole weekend is our once a year wine sale where we have 40% off of six different wines. Okay, so I bet this place is crazy when that happens. That's a heck of a it deal. It is so crazy, but you can also order online, so. Oh, okay, so that, that helps out a <laughs> yeah, little bit. Yeah, if you don't want to deal with the crowd, 
Um, and you don't want to come for the Christmas market, just the sale. You can either come on Saturday or just order it online. Fantastic. And well, pick it up later. Jen, thank you so much for making my experience here just absolutely wonderful. Thank you. And guys, if you'd like more information on craft wines or Layton's Chance events, check it out on our website, delmarvalife.com. The old fashioned Christmas market is a great time and that chocolate cherry wine. Yes, please.